Hello, today we're going to be creating a timer like this one. Now, the reason you might want a timer is pretty uh, self explanatory. In most games, well, in a lot of games, you're going to want a timer that's going to count down to zero or something, or count up, or whatever you wanted. You're going to want that for your game, so I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to do it now. Alright, so we are here in a new scene, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this default cube since we do not need it for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and add a empty, and I'm going to use a sphere type. It doesn't matter what type you use, it's just a visual representation. So now let's go ahead and add some logic to it. So let's come down from default to game logic, and also going to switch this from Blender Render to Blender Game. Alright, so now we are in the logic view, so I'm just going to go ahead and change this to orthographic, so it's a normal view, because uh, I prefer this view. And we're going to go ahead and add a delay, oh, sorry, a delay, and I'm going to add a property. So we're going to go ahead and connect this up now. So what we want to do is every second we want it to add a point to our timer property to our property, which is going to be called timer, so let's create a property here, so just add property timer, and we want this to be an integer, now up here you'll see we have a timer property, the problem is if we select that and enable this print debug info property thing, and also enable it right here, what you see is we get this float which is not very nice and it's basically unusable for what we want to use it for. So I like to do it by hand, and you can control it better, and if you want it um, not a second or something like that, when it counts up, you can do that as well. So you can use this for a score instead of a timer. Uh, but I believe, if you come over here, you can see, um, the max logic tips ticks is 5 um, for every second, I'm pretty sure, because you can see the, the FPS is 60, so the logic steps are max five here so every five ticks is a every five ticks is a second so we're going to select set the delay to five and we're going to turn this to repeat so now if we go ahead and select a property which i thought we made but i guess we didn't integer call this timer um we must have added i don't know what happened to that and we're going to go ahead and select this property timer and we're going to put in value slot 1. So now if we enable this show um, print debug properties and we enable show debug properties which is already enabled, let's press play. As you can see every second it's going up 1 and we have a nice round integer that holds our number so we can now use that. So that's all fine it's set up here we have our basic time and you could use this but if you want to display it as well which you're going to want to display it what i like to do since we can't use the copy across scenes we can't use that every time it updates i'm going to send a message and we're just going to add another pro um we're going to add one to another pro property whenever we get this message so let's go this update this is going to be a message so you can copy that or just remember what, what you put as capitals. It's got to be exactly the same as it was there. Everything's fine there. So let's go create a new scene. Yep, new overlay. And the reason we do this is we don't want a text object in our, um, our main scene. Because then if we have it too close to the camera, then it gets all pixelated. If it's too far away, we'll be going through objects and we don't want that. So we just do another scene. Let's add a camera, and let's go Alt R to clear the rotation, and move this camera all the way out. And as you can see now, the camera is at the position we want it. All right, so let's go ahead and add a text object, and move it across here. And let's go ahead and over here you see Add Text Game Property. This just means whatever goes in this property slot is going to be assigned to this text property here, which is really useful. So we can display any kind of text, um, what if you like. So if we press play now, we need to switch this scene to Blender Game as well. You can see that it is showing up as what we wrote in here. So, 
Let's go ahead and add a message sensor. And we're going to dump the update in there. So you can type that in or copy and paste it from the other one you had. Now, whenever we get a message, we want to go ahead and select the property. And we're going to go ahead and add to the text property 1, a value of 1. Now, if we were to do it like this, what you see is it's not happening because we need to be on the other scene. Um, if we go to the other scene. And we also need to set this to a to be overlay because right now it's not showing up. So what we can go ahead and do always and then a scene, make sure we, we do it on the camera. You can do it on other objects, but the camera's a, a good object to do it on because, you know, it kind of fits the camera. As, so you just want to get the, uh, yes, the scene actuator, sorry, and we want to set this to overlay scene and overlay scene. Select overlay scene in the slot. Now, if we press play, as you can see, it's, it's adding that one onto it like it's a letter, like you're typing one as a letter. So that's why we want to change this to an integer. And we could just change this to zero if you like. Or you can leave it as text, it will fix it up. But zero will look a bit nicer. So now you can see it's nothing. If we go back to the main scene and press play. Now as you can see the numbers are going up. But if we get rid of this show debug properties. As you can see we have a nice short, uh, score <laughs> showing up there. And it's working. Now if you wanted it going down. It's easy enough to do. All you got to do. Is come to the overlay scene let's give this uh, maybe 100 and instead of a value of one we want to go minus one and you also want to make sure everything else is working fine so let's go to this main object let's set this timer to a value of 100 or whatever one you wanted at of course and we're just going to set this one to minus one so you just want to have both the properties minus one and you want both of the value the timer value set to whatever number you want so now as you can see is going down and you could also just have a property here a property sensor and say if property is equal to zero um i'd know end end the game or quit game and that will exit the game of course you might want it going back to your main menu or a you died screen but pretty much there we go um it's, it's a pretty basic thing but a lot of games are going to need it, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a tutorial on it because I'm sure lots of people want to know how to do this. So if you want to see more tutorials like this and tutorials on other subjects, I come out with a new tutorial every single week. And if you subscribe, you see those coming every single week. So have a great week. Keep blending. And if you have any feedback for this tutorial, I'd love to hear it. So you can comment that down below.